Hey everybody, old folks here. So I've had a few requests for Ruby. Um, Ruby is a marksman. Uh, Ruby is a, a person, for those of you that don't know, can use the bullet time. Um, is also a sci-fi person. Um, is also part of the fairy tale world. But Ruby is um, gotten through the wishing pool. Um, you can also raise it up through just getting the soul stones. A lot of times you'll see um, Ruby soul stones for sale on events. And a lot of people use Ruby. The advantage of Ruby uh, is a few different things. Now, obviously, the ultimate, I kind of wished it was different, but I'll be quiet about it. It's basically just an attack that knocks people back. And while that's good, the problem with that really comes down to the fact that um, the damage is kind of eh, uh, ultimate wise. You know, but it is what it is, so I'm not going to complain too much. What really makes um, Ruby pretty good is the um, laser cannon. The beginning of that fight, you'll especially notice it when you're fighting. You know, fires that shot and it travels through the whole team, hits the back rows, hits the mid lines. It's, it's really a great shot. Um, booster shot basically um, jumps into the battle, um, knocks back some enemies. It's kind of cool, but it can also get her and get Ruby in trouble. Um, there's nothing worse than jumping into that fight and before you pull back something happens you get silenced you get stunned you get something you don't pull back and then they just unload on you and you die it's great when it works not so great when it doesn't um science accelerator basically this just increases um his own attack speed it's not a bad thing I mean, but it is one of those things where you're like, man, is this really, I'm going to get some more attack speed. Um, you know, if I look at his attack speed here, you know, it's 10 plus the 20, so I'm in the 30s. It's not terrible, but it's not great also. Uh, Retribution Totem basically um, periodically attacks damage, same one Mira has. It's not bad, you know, but, you know, do you take it, do you not take it? Equipment-wise, you know, when we look at uh, the equipment, that ruby has um you know obviously when your hit points drop down you can use this it's not one i really pick the armor penetration just doesn't really do, do it for me um i, I kind of like the fact that i can pop somebody for four or five thousand damage right there i use this um on a lot of the guys until i actually get to a piece of equipment i want uh, i'm not a huge fan um of this one just because the armor and the magic resist really isn't high enough to make it um, comparable to dropping four or five grand real quick when you get to your um, level one orange uh, it, it becomes a nice item and the fact that it's going to give you I like how they spell leet here by the way uh, you know 1337 uh, ability and attack power which is what's good for her lowers your magic and your armor a little bit and it also does a speed up which is kind of nice and then I know a few guys that use the um, number two item the problem with this one is, again, you don't control it. Um, it's something that the computer controls, and there's nothing worse than how it waits to do what it does when it does versus firing it off, and then, you know, right before you attack. That would be great, but we can't control that. Ruby's a pretty good team for anybody that needs an ADC. Um, you can put Ruby onto almost anybody. Now, if you've got a mirror, obviously mirror is good high damage for low health hit points but when you're focusing more on an area of effect team ruby kind of comes into play because of the line shot i mean that does damage to everybody in a line so it hits multiple people uh again it's not going to target a low health person like a mirror will but it's still pretty good it's not like a pearl where a pearl is a back line attacker plus the knockups plus the ultimate which knocks up and disables other ults um so there are some issues there when you start to look at uh compare people you know do i use this you know york doesn't do near as much damage but also has a better skill set for making him last a little bit longer and do tankier once he gets the whale um you know some people pick coco i mean we go through them all basically here but a lot of times you're just not going to see um, some guys run ruby but you're not going to see it as much because that ultimate is your knockback you're going to see a lot of guys instead choose a gears over ruby because you don't have to wait for the ultimate and his ultimate's a little bit better so not here to bash on on anybody you know ruby's not a bad character if this is who you get early on run with it i mean it's so much easier you know it, it it's a great character 
Um, you can partner um, him and Mirror together. I've done it before. In fact, depending on the teams I face in my with my arena team, I'll go swap over here right now. Ooh, too far. Um, you know, there are times I'll swap Pearl out based on the team I'm facing. Um, there are times that I'm going to go ahead and run uh, Mira and a Ruby, or a Pearl and a Ruby, and I'll drop Pagani, depending on how their, their team composition is. Um, so it just kind of varies. So it's, it's not that he's not a great use, it's just, you know, we all have our choices. Um, you know, I keep, keep him high enough to use him, but he's just not my main runner. So maybe tell me your thoughts. Maybe you slow, solely use Ruby at 90. I, I knew a guy that did. He just liked him. Um, and then I know a few guys that just are like, eh, you know, if you had an awakening, maybe. So let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys have a great one. Thanks for watching.